those of you who are in a relationship, ask yourself these three questions. Are you and your partner growing in different directions? Is your relationship becoming stale? Is there something you're looking for that your partner cannot provide? If yes is the answer to any of these questions, then perhaps it's the time to take a hard look at your relationship. Are you falling out of love? Hello, I'm Rajat Kapoor and I welcome you to my lounge where today we are going to be talking about not falling in but falling out of love. Let's meet my first guest, Zafar. Hi, uh, I'm Zafar Karachiwala. I'm an actor by profession. Falling out of love. Sure, everyone falls out of love. Um, it's 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 by default a human trait. I wish, I wish you were here. We're just I've realized after a lot of experience and a lot of mistakes down the line that when I fall out of love, or if I fall in love first of all with someone, I'm actually falling in love with my capacity to love. And that person that I fall in love with simply is that mirror uh, who shows me my capacity to love. And so falling out of love is exactly the same thing. I lose focus with that mirror. Uh, I stop being that person's mirror, that person stops being my mirror and therefore I can't find that fantastic version of myself. You know when you fall in love, you're, you're walking you know, six feet off the ground, literally every day. Nothing can go wrong. Love is not an emotion. As much as I, I hate to uh, rile all the die-hard romantics, but it's not. It's, it's a force, it's an energy. It's like electricity is an energy. You tap in, you tap out. Hi, Zafar. Hi, Rajat. Thank you for coming on the oh, show. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Falling out of love, what, is it, uh, what does it mean for you? Um, let's define what love is in the first place so we understand what, okay. what falling out of love is. Okay. And, you know, uh, love I don't think is an emotion. It's not, oh, I love you so much, you know, you're my everything, I will die without you. That's absolute rubbish. Uh, I've discovered uh, through experiential <laughs> understanding. <laughs> but uh, love is an emotion. Love, love is not an emotion. emotion. Love is a force. And this is what I think people are forgetting, is when you fall in love with someone, you... You fall in love with, your you fall in love with yourself, and that other person becomes a sort of catalyst, okay. or a sort of mirror who shows you, look, Rajat, this is you. Right. This is how beautiful you can be. This is why you're walking five feet off the ground. Right. People do that for the first few months when you when you're in love with someone. My God, and then that starts fizzling out slowly but steadily, and then you go, um, maybe this wasn't as, <laughs> you know, this wasn't that icing on the cake that I thought it would be. And then people fall out of love. Because you can't, you can't, you can't sustain, sustain that, that. But see, okay, my understanding is that, uh, uh, that love transforms, love between two people mm. transforms over, over months and years. Sure. But uh, it's not as if you've fallen out of love just because you've touched the ground. You are still in love. Yeah, but again, like I say, if you define for yourself what, you're, what it is that you're in love with, it's not like you said, if you, if you fall in love with a sexual high, and just are in that act of sex with someone and enjoy that so much that you love that act, you're, you're going to fall. But I'm saying, suppose some, some, somebody has been in love, a couple has been in love uh, for five years, six years, ten years, whatever, and then something starts going, something mm. starts changing, mm. and uh, then do they fall out of love? Or if they do, you were in a relationship for six years, yeah, and uh, it ended because of what? Because you fell out of love? It ended because all the other pillars of the relationship just crumbled and fell apart. But you are, the human being is a need-based uh, 